One nice feature of the EasyTronic 2.0 is a demonstration mode that allows you to go anywhere in the tool just as if you're connected to a cart. So if you ever have a situation where a customer calls in and says, I have this vehicle, I have this problem, and you're wondering whether or not you have the software that might be applicable for it to take care of it, all you need to do is put in the demo mode. Let's go ahead and go to our main menu tab and let's go back to our hardware settings. This time we'll put it in active simulation mode, that's demo mode. As soon as we're done, you'll notice that we're in the demonstration mode. Now this time we're going to go to manual vehicle selection because I want to show you a feature that you may need to tap into from time to time. So I'm going to select an older vehicle, a 2000. I want to grab a Mercedes Benz. Let's go ahead with a C230 compressor, 2.3 liter, rear wheel drive. Now, here's a question that you're going to run into. Which connector should I use? In this case, you'll notice there's a 38 pin connector, there's a 16 pin connector, then there's a 16 pin connector flash code, and a 38 pin connector for flash code. What you're going to use is either the 38 pin or the 16 pin. Now, don't think about the 16 pin as being an OBD2 connection like the 16 pin we're used to. This is a Mercedes specific connector that looks a little bit different. We'll show that to you. But what I want to do now is I'm going to collect the, select the 38 pin connector. What is the 38 pin connector? That's this connector right here. So on vehicles as late as 2002, you may run in a situation where there is a connector underneath the hood. Got to pop the hood open screw this connector in, and then you have to adapt to it in order to communicate with a vehicle. A lot of folks believe that if I have a 1996 or newer, everything should be on the OBD2 connection. The only thing that's required to be on the OBD2 connection is engine, OBD2. And in some cases, there's more data for engine under here on this connector than there would be on the OBD2 side. So let's go ahead and select 38 pin connector. And let's go ahead and hit continue. All right, first off, we see engine control. And you'll notice down here it says ISO K4. Well, how do I know what that means? Well, we have our diagnostic socket here. And now we're going to go ahead and open up. And just so I can show you, let's look at that 16 pin connector we were talking about before. That right there is the 16 pin connector. So that is a connector that would potentially be underneath the hood. You can see by this picture, on the right hand, outside underneath the hood, you would find that connector. And if you were connecting up, you would basically take the black, number one to black, 16 to red, and then the number three would be connected for the diagnostic module. Let's go ahead and hit return. But We really want to go to the 38 pin connector, and we're going to scroll down, and there is that 38 pin connector by itself. That is basically the back side of this connector. So we would, in essence, plug that in, screw that down, and get it locked in. This will show you a breakdown of the other connections. So the other connector that we have here is what we call a multi-use adapter. And what this means is I can plug this into the OBD2 connection, and then I can manually tap in to configurations. There are some optional connectors you can get, but this allows you to adapt to most anything you want. It's got alligator clip ends, so you can do a lot of different configurations. In this case, here's our connector, and if I go down and I look at this diagram, it'll say airbag, brake assist, engine control. So in this case here, if I want to talk to the engine with this connector, one is in the black, three is in the red, and green is in the four. So here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So this one's pretty simple. Obviously, you can see black, right? So there's my black, and there's my red. And then the final one I need to connect is my green to number four. Okay, so now we're ready to go perform the engine control diagnosis. Now, 
if you look down at your chart, you might say, okay, what else we got? We've got airbag, we've got HVAC. All you would need to do is pull the pin out, and in this case, we want number eight. Plug it into number eight and go to the next one. That's how you use this Mercedes connector to get the job done. Now let's look at something else here. I'm gonna close this. So down here, now that you know what you know, you may realize that engine is on four. Well, what if I go to ABS? If I go to ABS, you'll notice this has changed to K6. So all I have to do, now that I know what I know, is go over here, put that in K6, and start scanning the car. And what can we do here? Well, here's all the options. If we hit continue, again, we're in the demonstration mode at this time. It'll go through to all those modules and, in essence, simulate what would potentially be on the vehicle. And you could go in and see, okay, what am I capable of doing on a particular application? I'm going to hit the back button. Now you'll notice, periodically, a little yellow bar pops up. Right there, system voltage under 10 volts. In this particular case, if the vehicle voltage drops below a particular point, again, 10 volts, it's going to alert me to the fact that the battery is going dead in the car. That is a nice feature to have anytime you're working on drivability diagnosis. You know, the lights are on sometimes on cars, fans are running, different things are going on. You may not be aware that you're getting to a dangerous point during your diagnostic process where you don't have enough voltage. So that's a nice feature to have to get that job done. So you've got your diagnostic socket, very simple and easy to perform. If we go down to airbag, you can see it changes to pin 30 down here. And that's how you would use the 38 pin connector to get connected up to an older Mercedes. Let's go back to identification. Let's go to reselect. And that completes the demonstration using the 38-pin Mercedes-Benz connector.